Hello, my name is Titi. Welcome to my channel. For today's practice, we'll get started in a Thunderbolt Pose Vajrasana. So to access this pose, go ahead and come into a knee first. And go sideways so that you can see. Bring the knees together, tops of the feet press into the mat and slowly lower the hips towards your heels. If for any reason the ankles don't like it, you can try sitting on a blanket or you can always come into Sukhasana. I have my usual props, a pair of blocks, blanket. So if you like to use props in your practice, you can go ahead and grab them now. Then meet me here in Vajrasana. Hands can be resting on the thighs facing down. Or you can bring right palm on top of left, thumbs touching into Dhyan Mudra. Then close down the eyes. We'll take a moment to center ourselves, bring our focus, awareness into the space, into our bodies before we begin our movement meditation. If Ujjayi breath is in your practice, you can begin to activate it now by constricting the back of the throat and making the breath audible. With the breath, we invite awareness in the body, in the mind. Taking a quick scan of how the physical body feels. Are we holding any tension in any part? Can we let go of that? Are we holding any tension in our mind, holding on to any thought that we shouldn't? Can we let go of anything unwanted just for this practice? Bring our awareness to the breath, to the body. On the next inhale, let's take the arms up towards the sky. Let the palms touch. Exhale, bring the hands in front of our heart into our prayer position. Thumbs pressing into our sternum. Take a moment to find an intention for the next few minutes you spend on the mat. Then slowly release the hands by your side. Blink the eyes open. Let's actually bring our hands on our thighs. We'll start with baby cat and cows. So no hands, just move the spine. On the inhale, draw the elbows back, heart forward. And on the exhale, round your spine, tuck the chin. Go sideways so that you can see the movement of my spine. Inhale, move the chest forward, arch the low spine. And then exhale, we down. Moving from extending the spine to flexion. Inhale, we cow, draw the elbows back, open the heart, exhale. One more, inhale and exhale. From here, come into toe pose. So, Curl the toes under, bring your hips to rest on your heels and you'll begin to feel a stretch in the soles of the feet. Again, if that's too much, you can always come into Vajrasana, but try to sit in it for some time. It's really good for our feet. We'll take a twist from here. So bring the hands out in front of you. Keep the inner thighs together. Inhale, open the right arm, look over your right shoulder. Keep both elbows slightly soft. Exhale, close. Inhale, open, bringing right shoulder blade towards the midline. Exhale, close. One more. And close. Other side. 
Inhale, open to the left. Exhale, close. Last one. And close. We'll take a side bend. So if the floor seems too far for you, you can always bring a block under the hand. If you are able to comfortably reach the mat, just place the fingers, right hand fingers on the mat. Left arm reaches up. Inhale here. And then exhale, side bend. If your whole palm can come down, you can bring the whole palm down. I quite can't. And be mindful if you are moving the hips to the side. So when we're bending to the right side, there's a tendency to move the hips to the left. So just be mindful of that. And then over to the other side, left hand comes down, right arm goes up and to the side. We don't want to dump our weight into the left hand. Feel the stretch in the right side body. Right armpit facing the ceiling, the sky. And then slowly come out of it. We'll come off our toe pose and into our tabletop position. Here, if you like to slide any cushion under your knees, go ahead and find it. We're going to be here for a bit. Hands and knees, hands as wide as the mat, knees hip width apart. Let's tap, tap the top of the feet into the mat and then curl the toes under. We'll go for a balancing table, so extend the right leg long, close the hip, point the toes, and then add the opposite arm. Inhale here, exhale, left elbow to the left ribs, right knee towards the right tricep. Inhale, we extend, exhale, crunch. So it's a little different than our elbow to knee. Inhale, extend, exhale, crunch. Pause here for the extra breath and then release the hand release the knee shake the hip side to side we'll go on the other side left leg extends close the hip point the toes right down adds on you can always just stay with the leg inhale here exhale right elbow to right ribs this time left knee to left tricep inhale extend exhale crunch inhale extend Exhale, crunch, hold here. And then release. Shake the hips side to side. And make your way into your downward facing dog. Move the hips up and back. Arching the low spine, shooting those sits bone up towards the sky. We begin to pedal out our legs in our down dog. So bending and extending, getting that stretch going into our calves, into our hamstrings. And generous bend in both knees, we move our heart closer to our thighs, palms press away from the mat. And then roll forward into plank, you probably have to walk the feet back just a little Stack shoulders above your wrist, heels above your toe mounds. If this is too challenging, you can always lower the knees down and hold a modified plank. We'll be here for one more breath. And then exhale, downward facing dog, shortening the stance. Have at least hip the distance between your feet to give space for your hips. Spread the fingers nice and wide. And then lower the knees down. We'll kickstand the right foot, right heel behind the right knee. Left foot comes to the side into our modified side plank. Left arm reaches up. One more breath. Lower the left hand down. Come on your left toes. And then bring your right knee towards the nose. Hold here. One more breath, downward facing dog. Another breath. Lower the knees down again. This time the left foot kickstands behind the left knee. We come into a 
modified side plank on our other side. So, reaching the right fingers up towards the sky, that takes the pressure off the left wrist. So, we are not sinking into the mat, trying to reach up, away. And then right hand comes down, come on your right toes, bring your left knee to nose this time. Pointing the left toes, rounding the spine, into your downward facing dog. Clear out the space on your mat. We bend the knees, we look between our hands. Take a stroll to the top of the mat, into your forward fold. Half lift, inhale, flat back. Exhale, we fold. Uttanasana. Inhale, Ardhuttanasana, long neck. Squeeze the shoulder blades. Exhale, round. One more. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale, arms reach all the way up. Exhale, hands in front of our heart. By our side. Into our Tadasana. Inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, hinge from the hips, fold. Generous bend in our knees. Half lift, we inhale. Exhale, step back, plank pose. Do a modified vinyasa. So lower the knees down. Take the shoulders past the wrist. Exhale, chest first, chaturanga. Come on tops of your feet. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, lower down halfway. Press up through modified plank. Into your downward facing dog. Bend the knees, look between your hands. You can choose to step this time, keeping the feet hip width apart to keep the stance nice and stable. Half lift, inhale. Exhale, we fold. Inhale, arms reach all the way up. Exhale, let's fold right away. We'll do two rounds of sun salutation. Half lift, inhale. Exhale, step back, plank pose. This time, knees can be up or down. Take your shoulders past the wrist. Exhale, lower. Inhale, your choice of back bend. And then exhale, we'll all meet in downward facing dog. One more breath, building some heat in the body. Bend the knees, look between your hands. You can choose to hop, you can still step or stroll. Half lift, inhale. Exhale, we fold. Inhale, arms reach all the way up. We'll fold right away. Exhale. Uttanasana. Ardhuttanasana. Inhale. Exhale, step back, plank pose. Vinyasa. You can always choose to skip the vinyasa and just take down dog from your forward fold. Or a child pose. Right leg lifts up, inhale. Again, you can curl the toes, you can point the toes, whatever works. Exhale, knee to nose. Step the foot between your hands. We'll come into a low lunge. Lower the back knee down. Again, if you feel the need to cushion the back knee, you can slide something under. Inhale, arms reach up, low lunge. Gaze okay, forward, slight tuck in the tailbone, so we don't want to dump forward. Inhale here, exhale, cactus out the arms, open the heart, press the tops of the left foot into the mat. Inhale, tuck the tailbone under as the arms reach up, exhale, we cactus out. One more, inhale, and exhale. Inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, we frame the front foot. Hands can come on blocks or they can stay on the mat. We'll extend the front leg. For the front toes, for our Ardh Hanumanasan, half split. And you can have as much bend in the knee as you want to. If you want to go deeper, you can always slide the right heel forward. I'm happy where I am. Right here, rather. Another breath, curling the toes is going to give you a nice stretch in your calf. 
Rebend the knee. Left hand under the left shoulder, right arm reaches up, revolve your lunge. Keep that right knee hugging in, legs to move away from the body. One more breath. Right hand goes outside the right foot or it can come inside the foot. Whatever feels good. Lift the back knee, step back into downward facing dog. You can always choose to take a vinyasa. One more breath. Right hand stay, sorry, right foot stays down. Left leg lifts up. Now you can curl the toes, point the toes, whatever works. Inhale here, exhale knee to nose. Here you'll have to point your toes to get the core working. Step the foot between your hands. Long runner's lunge before you lower the right knee down. Come on tops of the right foot and then stack shoulders above the hips. Arms reach up. Inhale here. Exhale, cactus up the arms. Opening the heart. Inhale, belly in. Arms reach up. Exhale, we arch. Inhale here. And exhale. Pause. Feeling the stretch in the front body. And then frame the front foot. Extending the front leg. Hands under our shoulders, on the mat or on the blocks. Check if you're leaning to the right side. Just center your hips. Option to slide that left heel forward for a deeper stretch. Again, bend the left knee as much as needed. You're good as long as you feel some stretch at the back of the leg. Curling the toes is going to get into the calves. We really bend the knee, come into a low lunge, right hand under the right shoulder, left arm reaches up this time. Slight bend in both elbows is a good idea to take tension away from the shoulders. Left hand comes outside the left foot. Right knee lifts up, downward facing down. Gain an optional vinyasa here. If you're just holding our down dog, we'll take three more breaths. Bend the knees, look between your hands. Make your way to the top of the mat. Ardhutanasan, inhale. Exhale, we fold. Inhale, arms come all the way up. Exhale, hands in front of our heart by our side. Take a moment here. Closing down the eyes if that feels good. We're just in the clothing, having a sip of water. Using the break for anything we need to. The eyes are closed, blink them open, and then we'll bring our hands on our hips. We'll do some balance work. Shift the weight into the right leg, and then lift the left foot off the mat. Check if you're leaning back. Try to stand nice and tall. Doesn't matter how high the left knee goes. And then if you feel comfortable with balance, the hands can come in front of our heart. If this feels good, the hands can go up too for our start. Another breath. Hands come down on the hips. We step the left foot back for a long lunge. Like to crawl or heel to the right foot to the right side to create lots of space between both legs. So parallel legs here, arms reach up. Inhale here, exhale, twist to the right. Hips are still facing forward. Inhale, both arms reach up. Exhale, we twist open to the right. Left arm forward, right arm back. Last one, inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, twist. 
right hand finds the back of the left leg, left arm reaches up, twist and see if you can have a little back bend here. Left hand comes inside the right foot, right arm reaches up, we revolve our lunge. Option to lower the left knee down. From here, we'll go into a side plank. So right hand on right hip, come at the outer edge of the left foot and bring your right foot halfway. So this is one variation of our side plank. Provides lots of stability and stay here if this feels like enough. If you are looking for more challenge, you can either stagger your feet. So right foot in front of left or right foot on top of left and reach up. Another breath, right hand comes down, we transition into our downward facing dog. So hands as wide as the mat, feet hip width apart. We are in our upside down V. Bend the knees, look between your hands. We make our way to the top of the mat. Uttanasana, inhale Ardha, exhale fold. Inhale, arms come all the way up. Exhale, hands in front of our heart by our side. Other side. So, shifting the weight into the left leg this time. Right leg lifts up. Try to keep the right ankle under the knee. I see a lot of this. See if you can just let the ankle hang loose under the right knee. In challenging our balance by bringing the hands in front of our heart, gaze forward. Option to reach the arms up towards the sky. Really standing tall here on our left leg. Oops. If you lose balance, come right back in. Hands come on our hips. We take a big step back, the right foot, and then find our high lunge here. Stacking the left knee on top of the left ankle and then right heel on top of the right toes. You can have a slight bend in the back knee, arms reach up, belly tucks in, ribs in. Inhale here, exhale, we twist to the left, this time right arm forward, left arm back. Inhale, both arms reach up, gaze forward, exhale, look over your left. And one more. Reaching the left fingers to the back of the room, right to the front. And then left hand finds the right hamstring. Right arm reaches up. You can drop the gaze down. Really reach those right fingers up and twist. Right hand comes inside the left foot. Round it down. Left arm reaches up for a revolve lunge. Option to lower the right knee down. Lower the left hip down, lift the right hip up so that the hips remain square. Left hand on left hip this time. We come on the outer edge of the right foot. Transitioning into our modified side plank first. Staying here or taking any variation that works for us. Know that one side is usually different than the other. I feel more challenge on this side. See if you're noticing any such thing in your body today. Oops. One more breath. And then into our downward facing dog. We'll take five breaths here. So you have a choice of doing vinyasa. Just hold down dog or come down into child pose. Take two more breaths, listening to our body, giving it what it needs today. Some days we need to push ourselves, some days we need to back off. Bend the knees, look between your hands, make your way to the top of the mat. Forward fold. Half lift, inhale, exhale, fold, hands come all the way up and in front of us, by our side. We'll take our stork one more time. So shifting the weight into the right leg, 
left leg lifts up you have a choice of holding your stalk or coming into a tree let me face the camera so stay here or you can take a kick stand for your tree placing the left foot in the right shin or coming into your full expression left sole of the foot into your right inner thigh hug that right leg into the left foot left foot back into the right leg hands in front of our heart gaze forward option to take the arms up expanding your branches shoulders press down fingers reach up know that there will be small teeny tiny movements in your right foot to keep you stay balanced totally fine one more breath and then we step the left foot back for our warrior two legs so right toes are pointing forward left toes towards me stack the right knee above the right ankle to the arms gaze through the front second and third finger tailbone tucks under left hand comes down right palm flips reverse your warrior feel stretch in the right side body from here into side angle so you can either place the right forearm on right thigh and take the left arm up and over or you can choose to lower the right hand down and left fingers can place up towards the sky this is a deeper version in choosing what feels good today another breath bringing the left hand down lift the left heel heel to the right foot to the right edge of the mat and then lower the left knee down we'll come into our lizard right toes point at an angle lift the inner arch of the right foot and then turn your chest towards the right leg you can stay here or bend the back knee and grab the foot for a quad stretch along with your hip stretch nice deep breaths softness in the left elbow so we didn't never want to lock out the left elbow soften it and move the left shoulder back another breath release the foot bring right hand inside the right foot right toes point forward lift the left knee maybe hop that foot forward and to the center of the mat and then go into a three legged dog right foot goes up bend the knee open the hip for your scorpion dog keep the shoulder square by the right hip is trying to open and then close the hip and lower the foot down maybe we pedal out the legs a little shake out the hips from here we bend the knees we make our way to the top of the mat forward fold for the other side half lift inhale exhale fold inhale arms come all the way up exhale hands in front of our heart by our side tree on the other side so bring your feet parallel either we kick stand the foot low tree or a high tree if wherever you are fix your gaze on something unmoving in front of you how are we feeling on this side more breaths and then take the right foot back left toes point to the front right toes point to the side for our warrior two legs on this side then once we have our legs we'll do the arms you can either have a heel to heel alignment here so left heel in line with the right heel or heel to arch alignment whatever feels good reaching the left fingers to the front right fingers to the back flip the left palm reverse your warrior parivrit virbhadrasan 
and then our side angle variation left forearm on left thigh right arm goes up and over or left hand to the mat right arm reaches up for a deeper version Feel this in your left glute. One more breath. Right hand comes down. Lift the right heel. Heel to the left foot to the left edge of the mat for your lizard on this side. Right knee goes to the right edge of the mat. Come on tops of the right foot. Angle the left foot by 30 degree. Lift the inner arch of the left foot. Right hand down. Left arm up. Or left hand can press into the left inner thigh. For a hip stretch. <clears throat> Staying here for adding a quad stretch. <coughs> Excuse me. Again, right elbow softens. Deep breaths. Releasing the foot on the next breath. Right toes point forward. Both hands come inside the left foot. Lift the right knee and bring the right foot to the center and close to the hands. Left leg reaches up. Inhale here. Exhale, bend the knee, open the hip. Scorpion dog on this side. Continue to move the heart towards the right leg. Square down your shoulders. One more breath. Close the hip. Lower the foot down and then lower the knees down. We'll come into our child pose. So big toes touch, knees widen, lower the forehead down. Let's take three rounds of cleansing breaths, inhaling through the nose and exhaling through the mouth. Inhale. And then big ha. Two more. Let's lift the forehead briefly, thread the left arm under the right. Either the forehead comes down on the mat or on a block or you can turn the head to look towards the right arm. Wherever you are, close down the eyes. We're coming towards the end of our practice. Another breath. Over to the other side. Left fingers reach forward. Right arm comes under. We thread the needle. Do slide a block under your head if the hips are too far from the heels. Sinking the weight into our right shoulder. Enjoying that stretch. Bring the hand forward. If you have a blanket handy, go ahead and grab it and place it back of the mat. Come in the middle of the mat and then slowly lower down on your backs. Supporting the head with the blanket. Let's draw our knees to our chest. Hands behind the knees, knees nice and wide. Low back presses into the earth. Usually feels pretty good. And then Gentle rock side to side. Come back center. Let's take a supine pigeon. So lower the right foot down and then extend the right leg. And then grab the left shin. Try to bring it parallel to the short end of the mat. Using the hands to draw the shin close to you while the left thigh is moving away. So I'm using my left forearm to push my left thigh away from me while using my hands to draw the ankle shin close to my upper body. Feel a nice stretch in your left hip. 
another breath. Release the left foot down. Keep the left knee bent and right leg straight. Scoop the hips over to the left side and then bring your left hip over to the right. Left foot can rest on the right leg or it can come on the mat. Try to keep the left shoulder blade anchored to the mat. So if it's coming off too much, which means you've rolled a lot on the right side. So back off in the lower body. And push the left shoulder blade into the mat. And turn the head over towards the left shoulder if that feels good. Nice big breaths here. Two more. Unwind. Recenter your hips, bend the right knee and then extend the left leg long. So bind pigeon on this side. So grabbing the right shin. Maybe not expecting the same range of motion on both sides. Most of us are not even. So taking notice of that and just going as far as You can feel a decent stretch, not trying to match both sides. Another breath. Lowering the right foot down, scooting the hips over to the right side. We take our twist on this side. Right shoulder blade grounds down. Option to look towards your right shoulder. Or turn the head towards your right shoulder because I encourage you to close down the eyes if you can. You and your breath. Another one. Gently come on your backs again. Bend the left knee, recenter your hips. Keep the knees together, hands wrap around the shins, give them a nice squeeze. Maybe we lift the head. And then bring nose towards the knees, knees towards the nose. Inhaling here. And exhale, slowly lower the feet down. Extend the left foot to the left edge of the mat, right to the right edge of the mat. Align the ankles to splay open. We are coming into our final resting position, Shavasan. Palms can face up or down. And gently squeeze the shoulder blades towards each other and then rest the back down on the mat. Opening the chest. And we begin to slow everything down. The body is nice and quiet. The breath is shallow. We allow the thoughts to pass. Anytime we feel like we are drifting away, we just return back to the breath. Please feel free to stay here for as long as you like. I will see you next time. Thank you.